to watch um, New Zealanders succeed on a, on a world stage has always been a huge part of my life as a kid. Doing projects at school, I mean, you'd watch the, the special editions come out in the Waikato Times of the different Commonwealth Games and all those bits, and you'd take your newspaper clippings in, and we'd each have to write our own article um, and follow the games right the way through. Was it 10 days to two weeks each time? It'd be a big, big focus in the classroom. It was truly inspirational to see the athletes that are out there, what they were doing and the reward they were getting for the work that they'd put in. To be in those shoes now is pretty exciting and hoping to deliver some good stories back home. Being the younger one um, of the two of us siblings, yeah, I always looked up to him. But now on the international circuit, uh, together and playing together, it's pretty special to be able to do that. The opportunity to pull on the fern again is a really special one. and It's a pretty rare occasion that you get to do it and to be able to share those moments with Susanna and you know it's something that is even rarer I guess and it's really really special to be able to have done that not only in Glasgow but now in, in Gold Coast. Pulling on the uniform and the New Zealand fern um, at games such as the Commonwealth uh, is pretty special. We don't obviously get these opportunities all the time so each one seems to be just as exciting as the last and always a privilege to be able to represent um, the country and be part of that wider collective team at events such as the Commonwealth.